The SIVB was the third stage on the Saturn V and second stage on the Saturn IB launch vehicles. Built by the Douglas Aircraft Company, it had one J-2 rocket engine. For lunar missions it was fired twice, first for Earth orbit insertion after second stage cutoff, and then for translunar injection TLI. History The SIVB evolved from the upper stage of the Saturn I rocket, the SIV, and was the first stage of the Saturn V to be designed. The SIV used a cluster of six engines but used the same fuels as the SIVB liquid hydrogen and liquid oxygen. It was also originally meant to be the fourth stage of a planned rocket called the C 4, hence the name SIV. Eleven companies submitted proposals for being the lead contractor on the stage by the deadline of 29 February 1960. NASA Administrator T. Keith Glennan decided on 19 April that Douglas Aircraft Company would be awarded the contract. Convair had come a close second but Glennan did not want to monopolize the liquid hydrogen-fueled rocket market as Convair was already building the Centaur rocket stage. In the end the Marshall Space Flight Center decided to use the C-5 rocket later called the Saturn V, which had three stages and would be topped with an uprated SIV called the SIVB which instead of using a cluster of engines would have a single J-2 engine. Douglas was awarded the contract for the SIVB because of the similarities between it and the SIV. At the same time it was decided to create the C-IB rocket Saturn -IB that would also use the SIVB as its second stage and could be used for testing the Apollo spacecraft in Earth orbit. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Configuration Douglas built two distinct versions of the SIVB, the 200 series and the 500 series. The 200 series was used by the Saturn IB and differed from the 500 in that it did not have a flared interstage and it had less helium pressurization on board since it did not have to be restarted. In the 500 series, the interstage needed to flare out to match the larger diameter of the SIC and S2 stages of the Saturn V. The 200 series also had three solid rockets for separating the SIVB stage from the SIB stage during launch. On the 500 series this was reduced to two, and two small APS auxiliary propulsion system thruster modules were added as ullage motors for restarting the J-2 engine and to provide attitude control during coast phases of flight. The SIVB carried 73,280 litres US gal of LOX, massing 87,200 kilograms 192,200 pounds. It carried 252,750 liters, 66,770 US gal of LH2, massing 18,000 kilograms, 40,000 pounds. Empty mass was 10,000 kilograms, 22,000 pounds. Attitude control was provided by J2 engine jimbling during powered flight and by the two APS modules during coast. The APS modules each contained four thrusters providing 150 pounds force 670 N of thrust, three for roll, pitch, and yaw, and one for ullage, and these were fueled by a hypergolic mixture of dinitrogen tetroxide and monomethyl hydrazine. They were used for three axis control during coast phases, roll control during J2 firings, and ullage for the second ignition of the J2 engine. A surplus SIVB tank, serial number 212, was converted into the hull for the Skylab, the first American space station. Skylab was launched on a Saturn V on May 14, 1973, but it eventually re entered the atmosphere on July 11, 1979. A second SIVB, serial number 515, was also converted into a backup Skylab, but this one never flew. During the missions of Apollo 13, Apollo 14, Apollo 15, Apollo 16, and Apollo 17, the SIVB stages were crashed into the Moon to perform seismic measurements used for characterizing the lunar interior. Topic: <laughs> Stages built. Asterisk C list of artificial objects on the Moon for location. Topic 
Derivatives The second stage of the Ares I rocket and the proposed Earth departure stage EDS would have had some of the characteristics of the SIVB stage, as both would have had an uprated J2 engine, called the J2X, with the latter performing the same functions as that of the Series 500 version of the stage placing the payload into orbit, and later firing the spacecraft into trans-lunar space. See also SIC S2 SIV Saturnib Saturn V Apollo spacecraft List of artificial objects on the Moon <laughs>